Hey, what is going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make Anki flashcards really, really fast. Like really, really fast to the point where you don't even need pre-made decks. There are a lot of classes in university where previous students haven't made Anki flashcard decks. And I guess this is a problem because making Anki flashcards can actually be very tiresome and very gruesome. It can be very frustrating at times when it takes you forever to make the decks and you barely even have time to study for them. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make them really, really fast. If you don't know what Anki is, definitely check out my previous video is about Anki, but quickly, Anki is a space repetition and active recall software that helps you remember things over a long period of time using flashcards. It has a very smart algorithm. The people that created it are really, really smart, and they basically set it up where how you answer a question today will determine the next time you see it. So for example, let's say today I answered a question good and I knew all of my information. It'll show it to me again in three days. And then if I answer good after three days, it'll show it to me again after seven days and then 15 and then 30. And the interval will just increase and increase to allow me to make sure that I remember things over a long period of time. So now let's actually get into the meat of the video on how to make flashcards really, really fast. Now I'm about to open Anki right now and my Anki is very, very hectic. There is a lot going on. So I would recommend that you actually first watch my beginner tutorial on how to use Anki and then also watch the tutorial on all the Anki atoms that you definitely need. Once you finish both of those and you have a general idea of how to use Anki, then I would recommend that you come and watch this video just so you're best acquainted and that you're in the best position to set yourself up for success using this video. So you're going to open your Anki, however you have it set up, and you're going to do add. Now, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that if you press add while you're on a deck already, it'll open and add cards onto that specific deck. So we're going to press add. One thing that you need to do in order to make sure that you have you make flashcards really fast is that you add the freeze tag on. So this freeze tag on, which is what I'm doing right here, allows you to put images and pictures inside your Anki flashcards and keep them there even after you press add. So for example, let's say I were to do a screenshot right here. We're going to screenshot, uh, you know, this bottom part of my screen. We're going to put it and we're going to put it into the notes. OK, and I'm going to turn on the freeze thing. And let's say we're say. Uh, what is we'll do what is this or we'll do because since it's closed this screenshot is an image and we're gonna do a closed deletion you guys know closed deletions of course already I'm just setting it up in a different way uh, c1 da -da -doo. image I even spelt it wrong and we'll even bolt this screenshot I'm gonna add it notice what happens when I press add this image stays here and that is really important if you are working with lecture slides. So let's say I were to pull up a lecture slide. We'll do module eight biology. OK, lecture 15 and 16. This is really important if you're adding a lot of information from one lecture slide. So let's say from this lecture slide, I want to make uh, three different Anki flashcards. Simply, I'm going to screenshot them right here. I'm going to screenshot this whole picture. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to put it into my notes. Make sure that the freeze is on and I'm going to do Ion exchange chromatography, I uh, spelled that wrong, of course, is, and then whatever my information is, and then I'm gonna turn that into a freeze, I'm gonna turn that into a close, sorry, bold it, and we're gonna keep going. Press add, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one, and the next, and the next. This allows you to save a good amount of time actually because when you freeze it it allows the information to stay there now the question is how do i incorporate this freeze add-on it's very simple i actually have it saved up here we're going to go to my anki tools we'll do add-ons if you notice which one is it freeze the fro Z frozen fields so z e frozen fields uh, i'm actually going to add this in the description below so don't even worry about it but you guys definitely know how to add add-ons uh, and i will actually add the add-on code if you guys want to see it on the screen uh, we'll do over here, view add-on page. The code to add this Anki add-on is 94610912. If you don't know how to add it, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is go to these add-ons. You're going to do get add-ons. You're going to put 946, whatever the number was. Press OK, restart your Anki, and it's going to be there. Now, another thing that you might have noticed is that I actually have three different sections for adding my cards. I have question and answer, notes, pictures and sources. And this is very simple. If you press fields up here, you can add how many you want. So let's say I want to have another one where it's like, um, I don't know, links. Like if I do hyperlinks, I want to add a section that has links. 
So I'm going to do that over here. Now, what I showed you guys earlier is actually something that you guys should be doing anytime you make Anki flashcards. Make sure that your PowerPoint and your Anki deck are side by side. This way you can screenshot your image and copy it right away so that you don't have to waste any time trying to take a specific picture then it saves to the desktop then you open Anki then you put it inside you don't have to worry about all that hassle all you really have to do is open an image screenshot it and then drag it inside and drag and drag and drop and put whatever so I put it in the notes but let's actually move it to the pictures and sources and this is super important because this again will save you a lot of time now, another cool thing that you could do to make sure you make your Anki flashcards really fast is by using the image occlusion add-on. So let's say I were to, you know, screenshot a diagram over here. And I were to take it, put it into my questions and answer. Once you download this add-on, you will have the option of occluding an image. So I'm gonna, pre I, I just select it all, right click, press on occlude image. This window is going to pop up over here. And simply what I'm going to do is drag over plasmid, drag over plasmid two, Drag over X factor, plasma membrane. Let's see, do I need to do I need to remember anything else? Reported gene transcripts, nucleus. I already know it, so I don't need to include it. And I'm going to do hide all guess one. So what this does is, as you guys can see, I have one, two, three, four, five fill in the blanks. Hide all guess one will hide all of the fill in the blanks and only show me one of them. Hide one guess one would mean it only hides one of them and shows me all the other ones. Now I don't like hide one guess one because sometimes that gives me an idea of what the answer is. So I prefer hide all guess one. So I'm gonna do this very simply. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna go back. Yes, I wanna close the current input. And now let's see the new cards I made. So remember this screenshot is an image. That's the one I made earlier. Yeah, I did good on that. Ion exchange chromatography is, this is the one where I did gib straight gibberish. Good. And now I have my image occlusion one. So if you realize only one of them is being hidden while the other two are not. And then let's go through all of them. And yeah, I basically just solved all of them right there. Now, one final thing I want to show you, and I, I guess this isn't really isn't a way to make you go quicker, but it is a way to make your Anki look more aesthetic. And what you could actually do is let us add a card. Now, a lot of people actually don't use this section right here that says cards, but I took advantage of it. And it's kind of simple to use, kind of complex. It really depends who you're talking to and if they're able to search on Google. But basically, you click on cards, and this will allow you to create all the formatting for the cards itself. So this uses CSS, the CSS coding language, which is how you style websites, basically, with their color, um, borders, templates, everything. This is all CSS coding. Um, and I changed it, basically, to make sure that uh, uh, my pages look aesthetic and re really nice and pleasing. So you can see styling and all this fun stuff applies to whole card, HTML overflow, style for closed deletions, all this fun stuff. But don't worry about this. I'll tell you exactly what I basically changed. So what I changed is that if I bold the word or I italics or I underline, it's going to be a bit different when it shows uh, in the actual answer. So let, let's italicize and underline these so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. And we're gonna do hi. We're gonna make sure that this one is not italicized. I'm gonna show you exactly how this card is going to look. And we'll do a hi again. And this will be the closed deletion one. We're gonna do add. We're gonna come back here. Waterloo. Study now. If you notice, the bold one is kind of like purplish. Italics is kind of red. Underline is kind of blue. High is just regular white. And when I open it, this is green. And my background is also black. These are all a bunch of things that I changed because I wanted them to look this specific way and I, I just wanted them to look cool. Again, you don't have to do this. I just did it because I was like bored while I was studying for the MCAT. If you guys want to do it, I would recommend doing it. I am going to include a, I'm going to include it in the uh, comment section down below. If I do forget to add it, remind me, someone comment down below and let me know and I will add it right away. But essentially the summary of this video is that you need to add the image occlusion enhanced add-on and the freeze tag add-on in order to make sure that you make your cards really, really quickly. And when you do make your cards, make sure you make them side by side using the screenshot feature to drag and drop inside of your Anki notes to make sure that you do things really, really quickly. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of simple. If you guys have any questions about anything, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what questions you might have. I'm very, very happy to help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and take it easy.